what happened to you? Uh, Luke Grayson's kid came in the store and wanted to buy a gun. I refused to sell it to him. When I turned around, he hit me on the head with an axe handle. Don't you think you better have a doctor take a look at you? Well, I don't know. Kind of stunned me for a minute. I kept seeing the kid taking the gun. I couldn't make my legs work quick enough to stop him. He took a gun? That's right. Six shooter and some shells. He knew what he was doing. Ben, you better take him up to the doctor. I'll also go along with me. All right. And Ben, it's not just a 16-year-old boy we're dealing with. It's Luke Grayson's kid, and he's got a loaded gun. All right, boy. I asked you, where did you get that gun? I told you, I just got it. That's all. Now that you've got it, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to kill Ben Cartwright. What do you think I'm going to do with it? Now listen to me. I want him dead just as much as you do. But what chance do you think a kid like you'll have against all those grown men? All I need is just one clear shot. Don't you realize that they'll cut you to ribbons the minute you walk outside this room? Todd, what are you going to do? I'm getting out of here. No, Todd, wait. There's another way. What are you talking about? If I help you, will you promise me that you'll leave Virginia City and never come back here again? How can you help me? a draft on the First City Bank of San Francisco. Five hundred dollars. If I sign it, it'll be payable to bearer. Five hundred dollars? Then I was right. Right about what? This is my father's money. You were holding out on me. Holding out on you? Todd, I'm just trying to help you. Look, if my father gave you this, you keep it. I don't even want to hear about it. Maybe you don't need a kid. But I do. You won't need that gun. I'm on your side. Right, Diane? What are you doing here? I told you I'd be here when you needed me. I think you do now. And I know you stole that gun. So does the sheriff, and he's coming to get you. I've got to get him out of here. Get him to San Francisco. Do you think you could do it? I can do it for $500. You see, I was listening outside your door. Now, that's not socially correct, maybe, but it's a way to find things out. Now, you just sign it. And I'll get the kid out of town. There's only one thing. You mustn't cash it until you get to San Francisco. Sure, I'm in no hurry. What are you doing? I don't want anything from you. Look, my father wouldn't have anything to do with a woman like you. Now, look, boy. You do as you're told, or I'll let the sheriff have you. Cash that for me. Five hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. You've got that much in the till. Just go ahead and cash it. I've, I've never seen anything quite like this before. Mr. Cartwright. Yes, Charlie. Would you take a look at this for me? Yes. What is it? It's a bank draft. You know about these things. I wish you'd look it over. He doesn't have to look it over. It's good. It's got Diane Jordan's signature on it. Why did she give you this? I don't think that's any of your business, Cartwright. This has something to do with Todd, doesn't it? What's the matter, Cartwright? Can't you hear good? Where's the boy? You've got my money. I said, where's the boy? I don't like people touching me. And I don't like them grabbing my money. If this is yours, legitimately. You'll get it back. But not until I've talked to Diane about this. Ben! Door's open. I think this belongs to you. Where did you get that? From the two-bit gunman who's been hanging around town. He tried to cash it downstairs. He tried to cash it? 
Well, what business is it of yours? Maybe I owed it to him. Maybe he did me a favor once. Oh, did he? Or was he about to do you a favor? Like killing me? It was Luke's money. Luke owed it to Appling. Diane, Luke never had $50 as long as I knew him, much less $500. Get out of here. I don't have to sit here and listen to you saying these things about Luke. You killed him. Isn't that enough? Don't you think the whole town knows it was you who supported Luke? Don't you think they know it was you who fed him, who clothed him, who even gave him his drinking money? And all the time, he didn't even know you were alive? That's not true. Luke was good to me. He loved me. Did he? Do you think Luke was capable of loving anyone, or even of thinking of anyone other than himself? Stop that! I won't listen to you saying such things! I won't listen to you! Here, I won't listen! Diane... You know that what I'm saying is the truth. I wonder you're going to have to face that truth. Where's the boy? Right here, Cartwright. It's easy to lie about a man when he's dead and can't talk back, isn't it? Todd, put away that gun. I'll put it away after I kill you. And this time, I'm not going to miss. This time, I got bullets in the gun. Todd, don't wait. He killed my father. You're forgetting that? No, I'm not forgetting. But everything he said about your father was true. No, it's a pack of lies. No, it wasn't a pack of lies. Look, I knew your father better than anyone in the whole world. He wasn't any good. Just like Ben Cartwright said. He was no good. No, you're lying. He, he sent me money. He wanted me to come out here and live with him. He never sent you a dime. Every honest dollar that Luke got, he drank fast as he could walk to the post office. That $500 that I gave to Affleck was mine. The money, the check that you got every month to keep you in school, that was mine. Even the money that you were sent to bring you back here to Virginia City was mine. See, I thought if he, if he saw his own son, that that would help him straighten out. It couldn't be if... He was so bad. Why would you? Why did I stick to it? Because I loved him. I loved him from the first moment I saw him. <laughs> Give me the gun, boy. Trying to remember him the way I wanted him to be. He was such a wonderful man. Such a rotten, lousy, stinking, wonderful man. 